This example is a little more complex example of using NX optimization. This one's going to be a three variable problem that uh, is in the context of an assembly this time. And in this model here, this is uh, either a hydraulic pump or a uh, hydraulic motor, depending on which, which direction is driving. <laughs> um, we've got uh, an assembly here, of course, that has a, uh, a rotating shaft in the middle. Uh, if, if power is being applied to the shaft and the, the shaft is, is uh, driving the, the cylinders down below, uh, the pistons down below, then, uh, then of course this is a hydraulic pump, right? And, and if it's the other way around, if there's pressure actually driving the pistons down below, and as a result of that, the uh, the shaft is getting driven around. Then then we call that a hydraulic motor. <laughs> so so this is uh anyway the direction of operation here matters, right? Uh, so in this particular model, we've got let's see let's leave this let's leave this right about here. I think we can see all of the things that are going to happen here. Um, we we've obviously got some asymmetry to the rotating stuff in this model right here. So at the assembly level here, we've got actually a body measurement that's going to collect up all of those rotating bits. Uh, the red is a swash plate that's kind of tilting around as we move, right? It's not actually rotating, rotating. Uh, so all the stuff that's that's spinning is the, the highlighted here. And we've got an aggregate measurement here that's showing us mass properties for the, all of the rotating stuff. Uh, as part of that measurement, there's a point entity that's created at the center of gravity for this collection of bodies here. And, uh, and we're going to do a distance measurement here at the assembly level that uh, that measures the distance between that center of gravity point and the rotational axis uh, of this this uh, this subassembly here. So uh, we want to essentially take that CG offset down to zero, right, to achieve a static balance here for this this rotational uh, part of the assembly. Um, so as we do that, there's a little note here just out in the graphics area that we can kind of observe that as it iterates and watch that offset go down to zero because it's not really going to be obvious how to get there. Right for this particular one, um, things are slanted. There's a lot going on, and uh, and so there's not a, a, a super easy answer to that. Um, the yellow part right here, right? If we we come and open this in a window, this guy here obviously is inclined relative to the primary axes x, y, and z right there. It's how it's designed, and um, and so what we're going to do here on this guy is uh, is, is use this chunk of material up here at the top as as really this the counterweight. To, to account for the other components that are down here on the opposite side, uh, and so what we can do is is adjust this uh, in different ways. This this part actually started as a non-parametric body. That's this one up here, and uh, we use some synchronous modeling commands here to to add some offsets to this to to make it really parametric, make it a thing that we can use in the context of this of this design study. Um, this is set up in uh, in a few different directions. So in the Z direction here, really, there's this offset five that that uh, moves in and out in this direction here. So that's going to give us kind of some control, add or remove mass in the in the C in the Z direction, or move the CG in the in kind of the Z direction. Um, the uh, offset seven, I believe, is the top up here, right? And this one's going to move up and down uh, relative to. Uh, let's see if we roll this back, we can see that. Um, this is actually set up kind of an interesting way. <laughs> Let me back up a little bit. We get to uh, to offset four right here. This one's right before that Z offset, right? And and just rolling back the model history here using the new the current feature column. Um, so this offset four puts it in the state where this this face is going to start to go away, right? If we go any farther back. Uh, which is okay, but it's just a starting point for, for the optimization here. So offset five, what that does is make, makes off, offset five kind of starts from this position and, and comes outward. So, so the variation here is going to be positive for, for this particular one. Doesn't need to be, can cross zero if we want to, but, but this model is just set up so that the offset here, the region, the, the, the design space for, for this offset five will, will, will say from one, one downward. Right, we'll see that here as we set up the problem. Um, six and seven are similar here. We've got this one is kind of the lower end of of where we want this variation to be, and then offset seven here is going to start from there and go upward. Right, so uh, so we'll see see those two offsets be kind of a positive design space domain for each of those. Um, this last one here really is rotational. So there's a sketch out here that uh, that has a a wedge angle here. And, uh, and this extrude is going to uh, actually trim back. Let me finish that sketch. Finish that sketch. 
and that this extrude here at the end is actually going to trim back the this part part of that uh, that that counterweight up there. Uh, so we've got again two offsets here and uh, and an angle that we'll use really as the three design variables here in this case to uh, to kind of control that next y and z right that first offset here again is kind of in z this top face here is is close to x right and then this angle uh, angular trim over here is is going to remove mass mostly in the y direction there so again some little interactions in those three um, that that are going to are going to be there, but we're not going to really need to worry about them. We're going to use the optimizer to, to drive the CG into where we want it to be in the in the context of the assembly here. Okay, so with this, uh, let's jump in and take a look at that. So if we go to the tools and to the optimization here, we've got this static balance study created. Uh, and if we go look at the objectives here, there's that again, that CG offset. Um, we want that target to go to zero, right? So so is that point walks in toward the center axis this will go down and, and we should see that reflected out here in this note as well on the variable side as i mentioned we've got these two offsets and the trim angle those offsets again are set up to start it's really start at one so this one's going to one to 20 out here uh, this this height one is going to go from from one to 12 so we've got variation there in kind of the positive direction for both of those and then this trim angle again up here is this this last one from 45 to 90. So with those three design variables, no constraints in this problem out here. Um, with that setup, right, those three variables and that objective, we can go out and kick this off. Um, this one's a fairly monotonic problem. We're just moving around, uh, moving around a CG point, and and so we're going to use a, a local uh, optimizer on this one, the PAL algorithm. That uh, that should be pretty quick here. So we'll go ahead and kick that off, uh, and this is going to start varying those three design variables for us. And, uh, and using the algorithm to, to walk those in. And what we'll see here uh, as it proceeds, we'll start to see some shape changes uh, out there. It's making some subtle changes to some of those offsets. You see that angular one coming around this way. We're picking up some new, new geometry there uh, as it walks downward, right? We wanna see that number uh, converge down there to zero. And there again, it's taking a couple looks backward to, to see what, uh, make sure it's got the right answer. <laughs> And I think we found it. Yep, there we go. So walked into our our uh, our, uh, our minimum there. Converged on the the correct answer. So uh, once we're here, right, uh, we can look at that that final answer. Of course, we're in that state now. If we wanted to look at something along the way, if there's one of interest out there someplace that that we we want to look at in here, we can always MB3 on on any of these results and updates and it'll take us to that particular step along the way right that's useful in this case here we're after the last one so we'll go grab that and, and update and that's our that's our answer in this case so hope that's useful to you